Hi everyone, Rob Kajiwara here. Today is day 17 of our petition to the White House to try to save Hinoko, the beautiful coral reef at Okinawa. Uh, we are currently at 167,000 signatures. Um, we are currently trying to find a way to reach Mr. Hayao Miyazaki, the acclaimed uh, filmmaker. Hope is having some, some issues here. <laughs> Say hi, Hope. Yes, yeah, so we are trying to find a way we can reach Mr. Miyazaki because he, he has um, previously um, expressed a strong desire to make sure that Hinoko is, is saved. And uh, so we just want to let him know about our petition and, and hopefully he would be excited to hear about it. Um, so there's that. Let us know if you have uh, any ideas on how we might get in contact with him. Also, keep in mind... January 7th is the last day of the petition. That's day number 30. The petition can only stay open for 30 days max, according to the White House, the White House's rules. And on that day, we will be hosting a rally and a press conference in Washington, D.C., in front of the White House. We just want to send a symbolic message uh, to Washington, D.C., and to the world, really, um, in support for Okinawa. So yes, I will be traveling to Washington DC for that. He doesn't really like being up here. He, you know what he did today? At the park, I took him to the park, like we often do, and um, he found a dead bird at the park. And so he picked it up in his mouth and was just walking around with it. With, with the bird in his mouth, the little feathers sticking out. And I think he wanted to take it home, actually. Take it home and, and bury it, I guess. I don't know. But uh, he knew. He just knew that I, wouldn't, I was not going to be happy about that. And so... Whoops. Knocked over the shisa. And so uh, he was walking around with the bird in his mouth. Hoping that I would, you know, let him take it home. And I made it clear to him, no, there's no way you're bringing that dead bird home. And he just looked at me like, really? Are you sure? And I'm like, yes, I'm very sure. You're not bringing that bird home. And he continued walking around the park, hoping I would change my mind. And I'm like, no, it's not coming home. And so finally, he uh, put it under a tree and he he dropped it out of his mouth he put it under a tree pretty disappointed he was pretty disappointed but then he got over it and so then we we went home and uh but i'm not too uh i'm not too excited about him licking my face right now <laughs> if you know what i mean i gave him a dental chew bone which cl cleans his mouth so it should it should be okay but and dogs, dogs' saliva, I, I heard, is naturally clean or healthy and, and cleansing anyway, so should be okay, but still, I kind of don't want him licking my face today <laughs> after, after he did that. Okay, anyway, where was I? Sorry for the interruption, but... So yeah, January 7th, keep that in mind. Oh, and we will be live streaming that. We will be live streaming that from Washington, D.C., so you can tune in and join us. And you can even leave us comments and messages in real time for that. So you can participate from wherever you are in the world. You don't have to come to Washington, D.C. I mean, you can if you want to. But you don't have to be there in person to participate. And then, uh, but before that, so January 7th is a Monday. But the Saturday before that, on January 5th, at Hinoko, Okinawa, there is going to be... A rally there as well um, they like to do their rallies on Saturday because that's a good day where a lot of people can come out so they will be doing a rally there and they're gonna be live streaming their rally so we can also join in um, from around the world and uh, show our support for for them especially we want to show support for the many elderly protesters who have been <laughs> there protesting for years literally years they've been there for over 1600 days 
I don't know how many years that is. I can't do math. I'm terrible at math, but that's a long time, okay? That's dedication. That's commitment. They have sacrificed so much uh, for us, for Okinawa, and for Hinoko, and we all owe them a great, uh, a great uh, thank you. We all owe, owe them an awful lot. So I, I, j I think it would be nice if we could tune in to that live stream on January 5th and uh, show our support for them. Just show them um, that we, we got their back. That uh, we appreciate everything they're doing. And uh, that we stand with them. So January 5th, Saturday. That's in Okinawa though. Depending on where you live in the world, um, it might be a different time for you. So if you're in Hawaii or the US or in North America and South America too, it'll be January 4th. Okay, January 4th. So January 5th, um, they're doing theirs at 12 p.m. They're starting at 12 p.m. In Hawaii, that's, what, 5 p.m. for me in here in Hawaii. So just be sure to check your time zones um, on about that so, so you, don't, you don't miss it. Okay. Unfortunately, the event that was supposed to be held on January 6th, the, the music sing-along for Okinawa event, that has been postponed because um, the Abe administration has kind of uh, strict requirements to get permits to to meet on streets. the The organizers they wanted to like meet somewhere on the streets um, and uh, and start this event and then live stream it all over the world, where people we all come together and sing a song uh, together from all around the world sing a song for Okinawa they still want to do it I think but um it, I guess it just takes some time under the Abe administration's strict rules it takes some time to get the permits required to to uh hold a, a rally on the streets so yeah but please uh keep in mind January 5th or 4th depending on where you are and then January 7th in Washington DC okay I think that's all I have for now and I will talk to you guys tomorrow